I'm Jason Robinhood, and these are the stocks of the day for Tuesday, February 8th, 2022. Okay, so it is currently 2.05 p.m. here in Las Vegas, Tuesday, February 8th, 2022, and we are going to go over the stocks of the day, a great day in the stock market. All three major indexes were positive on the day. The Dow Jones was plus 371 points, currently trading at 35,462. The S&P 500 was up 37 points, currently trading at 4,521. The NASDAQ 100 was up 178 points, currently trading at 14,194. The VIX is currently have currently has a 21 handle that's six percent down from yesterday. The 10 year currently is 1.965. That I believe that's the high for the year. And let's see where Bitcoin is at. Bitcoin uh, down a little bit less less than two percent. One point fifty one percent. Bitcoin currently trading at forty four thousand a coin so yeah a good day in the uh, stock market not too many good days this year so we have to really appreciate days like this um all three major indexes were positive in this series we go over the top five performance stocks from all three of the major indexes so it's really helpful i believe it's helpful for day traders and long-term investors the first five stocks we're going to go over are five stocks from the Dow Jones. As I mentioned, the Dow Jones was plus 371 points today. Let's see how do we get there. First stock for the best performing stocks in the Dow Jones is ticker symbol AMGN, Amgen. <clears throat> As you can see, Amgen was plus 7.82% today. It has not given any of that back in the after hours market. That is a good sign. Another thing to mention, the Dow Jones is price weighted, and I believe Amgen may be like in the top five of the weightings in the Dow Jones. Just want to point that out. Amgen currently is only trading plus one percent. I believe the Dow Jones is up maybe ten to about fifteen percent. Maybe you say ten to let's just say ten to fifteen percent. So Amgen is currently underperforming this uh, Dow Jones. If you're looking for a high in this stock, that price was April twentieth, twenty twenty one. That was $259 a share. We're currently trading at $241 a share. Obviously, the next $20, you want to keep an eye on that. But for the past five years, Amgen has returned, you basically could say 10% a year, 45.03%. Let's see if Amgen pays a dividend. Amgen does pay a pretty healthy 3.94% dividend. Next stock for the best performance stocks in the Dow Jones is ticker symbol A. Oh. AXP, American Express. American Express was plus 3.26% today. It has not given any of that back in the after hours market. That is always a good sign. American Express is clearly at the top of its charts, not even looking back. This stock is up 52.91%, clearly double, maybe even tripling the Dow Jones performance way ahead of everybody in its own atmosphere. Um, you can see Amgen is at its five-year high, currently returning 149.61%. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but I will have to add this to my watch list. I may pick up a share or two of this tomorrow. I don't know why I've been waiting. If you can see, Amgen is... I mean, think of Andrew. Um, American Express is up 10% in the past month. Basically, the year to date, this stock has, you know, I believe... Um, at the moment, the Dow Jones is maybe down or maybe even even on the year to date. So American Express is one of the best performing stocks in the stock market. And American Express pays a 0.92% uh, dividend. It would have been better if it was a little higher, but I'm not even a shareholder. So what do I know? The next stock for the best performing stocks in the Dow Jones is ticker symbol UNH. As I mentioned, the, the Dow Jones is price weighted and at $493 a share. UNH is currently the most heavily weighted stock in the Dow Jones. So when UNH is up 2%, that usually is going to really help the Dow Jones even more. As you can see, uh, UNH was up 2.01% 
did not give any of that back in the after hours market. In the past year, UNH has clearly led the Dow Jones up 50.89%. I don't know why I haven't bought a share of this yet. I have to keep that in mind. You can see this chart. I mean, for the past five years, do you see many givebacks? The stock has not given much back almost at all. Obviously, we all know what happened in 2020. But since then, there's no real give back. It's one of the best charts in the stock market. Plus 205.50% for the past five years. If you've been a long-term investor in UNH. And UNH pays a 1.16% dividend. Next stock for the best performance stocks in the Dow Jones is actually ticker symbol DOG, DOW, excuse me, Dow, Dow Chemical. Is it still, still called Dow Chemical? I know it's called Dow. It's a material material company. Um, ticker symbol DOG, what DOW was plus 1.97% today. For the past year, this stock is only up 5.89%, so it's basically in half basically doing half the um, performance of the Dow Jones. If you're looking for a high in this stock, that happened May May 17, 2021, and that price was $70.91 a share. We're currently trading at $61.15 uh, a share. So you would imagine um, if you're looking to get in a stock, the next $10, if you can get above that $70, $71 range, you'll be looking pretty good. And for the past five years, I believe this stock was a spinoff. So it kind of, you could say IPO'd in 2019. The stock has returned 16.92%. And Dow, D-O-W, actually pays a very, very strong, healthy 4.67% dividend. And the last stock we're going to go over for the best performance stocks in the Dow Jones is ticker symbol JPM. JP Morgan, as you can see, JP Morgan was up 1.88% today. It's gained a tiny 0.01% in the after hours market. It has not sold off in the after hours market. That is a good sign. JP Morgan is up 12%, 12.85% in the last year. If you're looking for the high in that stock, that looks like happened around October 22nd, 2021. One and that price was one hundred and seventy one dollars a share. We're currently trading at one fifty five. So obviously the next fifteen sixteen dollars, if you can get above that one seventy one one seventy two price range, you're going to be handsomely rewarded. And for the past five years, if you've been a long term holder in JPM, stock has returned seventy nine point seventy percent. JPM does pay a two point four eight percent dividend so those were the top five performance stocks in the dow in the dow jones today as i mentioned the dow jones was plus 371 points currently trading at 35,462 obviously you want to keep an eye on those 462 points if we get have another 300 plus day another 300 plus day we could be trading all the way up to 36,000 on the Dow Jones. You want to keep an eye on that 35, 36,000 points. Next five stocks we're going to go over for the S&P 500. As I mentioned, S&P 500 was plus 37 points today. Let's go over the uh, best five stocks. First stock for the best performance stocks in the S&P 500 is ticker symbol ZBH. You have to mention some ticker symbols are just not widely searched ticker symbols that start with like Z. Or um, X, you know, kind of down there, stocks are uh, ticker symbols like this. So I haven't seen too many Z. I think Zillow, and that's the only of the Z I've ever seen, probably. But you have to keep an eye on stocks like this. Uh, ZBH was up 7.35% today, the best performance stock in the S&P 500. I don't even know it was in the S&P 500. I've never heard of this. But this stock is actually down 25 point. 15% in the past five in the past year. This is not a stock for me. But if you've been a long-term investor in ZBH, the stock is actually up 1.66% in the past five years. Let's see if it pays a dividend. And ZBH does pay a 0.86% dividend. 
Next stock for the best performance stocks in the S&P 500 is ABMD. Ticket symbol ABMD was up 6.62% today. It has not given any of that back in the after hours market. It's actually it's up 6% today. It's actually still down 6.47%. I believe the S&P 500 was up. About 15% last year, maybe even 10 to 15. It's basically traded almost in line with the Dow Jones. So you can say basically 10 to 15% in the past year. So uh, ABMD is definitely underperforming the um, the uh, S&P 500 by at least 15%. Not, not a chart for me. But um, a long-term investor in this stock has been rewarded 91 94%. 194.01% in the past five years. If you're looking for a high in the stock, it was all the way back in 2018. It started selling off in 2018. So that's kind of interesting. The high was $449. It basically sold off from 2018, September 28th, all the way. Just oh, It sold off for years. Obviously, this stock is not for me at all. But And it does not pay a dividend. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Next perform next stock for the best performance stocks in the S and P five hundred is ticker symbol DD. I believe DD and Dow Jones were once the same company. I believe DD was spun off, or that well, both of them were split up. So it's interesting to see DD and Dow Jones or Dow ticker symbol D O W, which we went over in the Dow Jones, both up over six percent today. That's interesting. That's an interesting move for those two stocks. DD is actually only up 4% in the past year. Not really the most return. Um, clearly underperforming the S&P 500. And the high in this stock happened on January 14th, one day after my birthday. Happy Capricorn season. And that price was $84 a share. It's currently trading at $80 a share. So if obviously you want to get into the stock, you want to keep an eye on that $84. Can it get above $84 and hit that $85? And if you've been a long-term investor in the past five years, you've actually lost 11.45% of your money. But DD does pay a 1.59% dividend. Next stock for the best performance stocks in the S&P 500 is... Ticker symbol N L O K Norton Lock, Norton Life Lock. Norton Life Lock was featured here yesterday. It's up. It's currently up fifteen point fifty two percent for the week. So that's interesting. A big move. Um, Norton Life Lock was up six point twenty five percent today. It's, it's giving back almost a quarter of a percent back in the after hours market. This stock has I don't know what is going on here. This stock is up Norton in. LOK is actually up 41.51%, clearly three times what the S&P 500 is doing. I don't know what's going on here, but it's only a 5.75%. I'm going to have to add this to my watch list. I may pick up a share or two of, of this tomorrow, right? Like, I mean, 41%, this chart is at its high. It had a problem getting above this 28 number. For a while, it had a problem getting above this 27. It was 27. So basically, I would have to keep my number around 27, 26, 27. If it breaks that, breaks down to that number, that's $4 above where we're at right now. So that's my risk. I would have to keep on that. But uh, ticker symbol NLOK still pays a 1.77% dividend. I don't know what's going on here, but this stock is popping. This stock is definitely popping. And the last stock we're going to go over for the best performance stocks in the S&P 500 is ticker symbol CNC. Ticker symbol CNC was plus 6.04% today. It has not given any of that back in the after hours market. That is a great sign. For the past year, this stock is up 44.79%, clearly at its um, high at the mark, way above the rest of the chart, you want to keep an eye on that. I have to add this to my watch list. 
Stock is up 164.74% for the past five years. If you've been a long-term investor in this stock, you've been rewarded. Obviously, that number was around 73. It looks like it had a lot of problem getting above 71, uh, 68, low high, 73. So that's the number I had to keep an eye on if I was an investor if it broke that 73 that you know that would really be worrisome if it went back down to 70 i would have to worry about it but 13 dollars down from here i think that would be a nice risk but it does not pay a dividend cnc does not pay a dividend i may pick up a share or two of this tomorrow depending on how it trades tomorrow i, I like this chart and those were the top those were the best Top five performance stocks in the S&P 500 today. As I mentioned, the S&P 500 today was plus 37 points, currently trading at 4,521. It's a nice sign that we broke above that 4,500 mark. Obviously, we want to keep an eye on that, on those 21 points. If we can hold 4,500, we could trade up to 4,600, right? 4,600 is the next number on the s &P that we want to get to and the last five stocks we're going to go over for will be for the nasdaq 100 as i mentioned the nasdaq 100 was plus 178 points today let's see how did we get there first stock is ticker symbol p d d pin duo duo was up 12.81 percent i think that's the best chart we've seen today Pinduoduo was plus 12.81% and has not given any of that back in the after hours market. That is a good sign. Oh my, oh my goodness. This is the worst chart. It's the best chart and the worst chart in the first, in the same chart. That's impossible. This stock has actually been just really, really bad. Down 69.45% um, for the past year. That is really bad. But somehow this stock is actually still up. 143.77 percent if you're looking for a high in this stock that looks like it happened basically last year around this time that was 196 dollars a share this stock is currently trading at 60 dollars a share ticker symbol pdd does not pay a dividend does not pay a dividend next stock for the best performance stocks in the nasdaq 100 is ticker symbol m r VL Marvell Technology. As you can see, I'm a shareholder of Marvell. I have a little more than three shares of Marvell. Marvell was up 6.89%, and people were still buying it in the after hours market, almost a quarter of a percent, 0.20%. People bought it in the after hours market. Marvell is up 51.54%. I believe that um NASDAQ is basically even. In the past uh, 12 months, um, it's down 10% year to date. But in the past 365 days, I think that uh, NASDAQ is up less than 5%. So Marvell is almost, what, 10 times what the NASDAQ 100 is doing. And if you're looking for a high in this stock, I am as well. The high in the stock was $91 a share currently trading. About, what, $15, $16 off of that high. So if we can get above back to that $91 and above that $91 the stock is basically going to go right back to the moon and if you've been a long-term investor in ticker symbol MRVL stock has returned 386.32 percent extreme bull move and Marvell pays a 0.34 percent dividend Next stock for the best performance stocks in the NASDAQ 100 is ticker symbol BIDU. But Badu? Badu was up 4.75% today. Has not given any of that back in the after hours market. Oh my goodness, this chart is it's not as bad as PDD, but this is pretty bad. Badu is down 40.73%. You can see last year, basically last year, a month. Or maybe about, yeah, last year around two weeks from now, February 19th or one week from now, was the high $339 a share. It's currently trading at $166 a share. And if you've been a long-term investor in ticker symbol BIDU for the past five years, 
you've actually lost 7.28% of your money. And Badu does not pay a dividend. Next stock for the best performance stocks in the NASDAQ 100 is ticker symbol NTES. NetEase was up 4.49% today. It has not given any of that back in the after hours market. NetEase is actually down 16.96%. So it's under the NASDAQ by what 16 or 17 to about 20% underperforming the nasdaq 100 not a stock for me but for the past five years if you've been a long-term investor in this stock this stock has returned plus 100 103.82 percent if you're looking for a high in the stock looks like that happened about last year around this time february 12 2021 and that price was 132 dollars a share currently we're trading at 103 dollars a share so obviously the next $30 are very important. If it could break above $132 a share, you will be looking at an all-time high. NetEase pays a 0.82% dividend. And the last stock for the best performance stocks in the NASDAQ 100 is ticker symbol MU. MU was up 4.02% today and has not given any of that back in the after hours market. Picked up a little bit in the after hours market, 0.05%. MU is actually only up 2% in the past year, 2.95%. So you could basically say it's trading basically in line with the NASDAQ. We said the NASDAQ was up 0 to like 5%. The NASDAQ is definitely not up 10 to 20% in the past year. So it's basically trading in line 0 to 5%. But for the past five years, if you've been a long-term investor in uh, Micron Technology, MU, Micron Technology is plus 243.09% in the past five years, greatly rewarding long-term investors. And MU pays a 0.25% dividend. That's a pretty interesting uh, pay for a technology company. So those were the top five performance stocks in the NASDAQ 100 today. As I mentioned, the NASDAQ 100 today was plus 178 points. That's a good sign. We're currently above 14,194 points. Obviously, we want to keep an eye on those 194 points. If we could hold those 194 points, we could be trading up to we could be trading up to 15,000 on the NASDAQ 100, but obviously if we hold, if we can't hold those 194 points, we will be trading back down to 13,000. I'm Jason Robinhood. Did you discover any new stocks in this video? Do you have any great performance stocks in your portfolio you would like to recommend to myself or the other viewers of this video? I'm Jason Robinhood. These were the stocks of the day for Tuesday, February 8th, 2022. Stay long in the stock market.